Imagine waking up to find 90% of your neighborhood displaced and over 60% of your local infrastructure destroyed or damaged. This is the reality for those living in the Gaza Strip. Israeli forces have been following orders to occupy and burn homes, causing an unimaginable escalation of the humanitarian crisis. Haaretz, an Israeli newspaper, reported on Wednesday that these orders have been carried out without the necessary legal permission, leading to the burning of hundreds of homes in Gaza. The actions of the Israeli forces have not only displaced families, but also caused a significant amount of damage to the infrastructure and resources that the people of Gaza rely on. In the midst of this turmoil, some Israeli troops are even sharing videos on social media depicting acts of home burning, which they describe as revenge. This shocking reality is what the people of Gaza are facing every day. And this is just the tip of the iceberg of the ongoing crisis in Gaza. Israeli forces have reportedly been given direct orders to burn Gaza, a chilling command that has led to devastating consequences for the Palestinian populace in the Gaza Strip. This act, as reported by the Israeli newspaper Haaretz, involves the occupation and subsequent incineration of Palestinian homes, all carried out without the necessary legal permissions. The world has not been blind to these actions. Israeli troops themselves have shared videos on social media platforms documenting their involvement in these home burnings. Some have even described these acts as a form of retribution for the death of fellow soldiers or for the events of the Hamas-led attacks on Israel on October 7. However, these actions are not just acts of war, they are considered war crimes under international law. The International Court of Justice ICJ, has clear rules against such acts particularly those involving the intentional destruction of civilian homes. The purpose of these rules is to protect the innocent, the non-combatant civilians who are caught in the crossfire. It's important to remember that these homes are not just buildings. They are places of safety, comfort and memories for countless Palestinian families. When these homes are burned, these families lose more than just a structure. They lose their sense of security, their belongings, and their cherished memories. These actions are not just affecting buildings, but the lives of innocent civilians. The United Nations has made it clear. Civilians and civilian infrastructure are not a target. This unequivocal stance was echoed in a tweet from the United Nations account, emphasizing the sanctity of civilian life and infrastructure during conflicts. The tweet further highlighted the necessity of ensuring the safety of humanitarians delivering aid and underscored that wars have rules which must be respected by all parties involved. Meanwhile, international human rights groups have been diligently documenting the systematic looting and destruction of Palestinian homes and businesses by Israeli troops. Heartbreaking reports detail the theft of personal property, vandalism of businesses, and even the burning of humanitarian aid supplies, including food. These actions paint a grim picture of the situation on the ground, where the dignity and rights of individuals are being violated with impunity. Yet, despite the outcry from the international community, the destruction continues. Several Israeli officials have made chilling calls for the destruction, burning and even nuclear annihilation of Gaza. Among them is the Deputy Speaker of the Knesset, Nisim Vaturi, a member of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's Likud party. His shocking words, burn Gaza now, reverberate with an eerie echo of humanity's darkest chapters. These aren't offhand remarks spoken in the heat of the moment. These are calculated declarations that advocate for systematic violence against an entire population. The world hears these words, and so does the International Court of Justice. These statements, along with the documented actions of Israeli troops, are being used as evidence in a South African-led genocide case against Israel. This case isn't just about the physical destruction of homes and infrastructure. It's about the incineration of human dignity, the denial of basic rights, and the blatant disregard of international humanitarian law. It's about holding those responsible to account. In response, the International Court of Justice has issued a call, a call for Israel to prevent genocidal acts in its ongoing war in Gaza. It's a call that resonates with the desperate pleas of the displaced, the cries of the bereaved, and the silent prayers of those living under the constant threat of violence. But a call is just that, a call. It demands action, it requires response, it seeks justice. As the International Court of Justice calls on Israel to prevent genocidal acts in its ongoing war in Gaza, 
The world watches and waits for justice to be served.